modern day laptops just get so darn hot that we've kind of accepted it as part of life. This is especially true of high performance and gaming laptops. Well, Lano's cooling pad is about as hardcore as laptop cooling gets. This thing can take even the hottest of machines and turn them into the next Ice Age movie. Well, that's a bit of an overstatement, but seriously, this thing is an absolute beast. And today we're going to do a full review, tell you guys what you can objectively expect, where you to dish out your hard earned money towards one of these cooling pads. So let's get into it. Make no mistake, this is a bulky cooling pad, but that's entirely by design. The reason for this is because at the dead center, you have a larger than life five and a half inch wide fan. This turbo fan is the reason this cooling pad works so exceptionally well. We'll talk more about that in the performance section. Now you'll also notice around the outer lips, you have this memory foam. And this right here isn't to give your laptop comfort, cute as that sounds, it's there to prevent air leakage when all that air is being sucked in by the cooling pad. And this again also makes a huge contribution to keeping the laptop cool. Now you'll also notice on the side you have a USB hub. Unfortunately you do need a dedicated power source to use this cooling pad so you can't rely on USB power. But there is a benefit. The USB hub can then power all your other accessories in a full charging capacity which is nice to have. Now on the bottom side you'll notice you have a nice large air intake vent for the fan itself. And it is a removable lid by the way because behind that you have a dust filter which is imperative to prevent all that dust from entering when that air is being sucked in. And here you can have a closer look at that large fan mechanism which looks quite beastly might I add. In addition to this, you also have two height adjustable feet at the bottom. This is great if you want a more tilted angle, though make no mistake, it's not required by design, so you can use it completely flat if you prefer. Now, Lano has explicitly designed this cooling pad to accommodate 15 to 19 inch wide laptops. And the way they stay in place is with a simple baffle mechanism on either side of the top corners, which kind of just prevent the laptop from sliding downwards. And that's more than sufficient to keep it secure as long as you're using it on a flat surface. This version of the Lana cooling pad also has a cool RGB strip around the entire outer rim of the device and it has four distinct preset lighting modes with up to 10 unique colors which really brings the cooling pad to life and is great for you RGB lovers out there. All this is of course controlled to the top console over here which has a button to turn the cooler on and off as well as to adjust the preset mode and the color of the lighting effects and then you have this handy dandy scroll wheel which allows you to manually adjust the RPM setting, which also has its own visual cue with this mini LED display over here. Let's get into the juicy details performance. So our test subject today will be the Lenovo Legion Slim 7i. It's rocking a i7 13700H series chip, a RTX 4060 GPU, and it also has 16 gigabytes of DDR5. All of these are the perfect recipe for a darn hot laptop. So let's get right into the testing part. For the first test, I wanted to stress the GPU as much as possible to get an accurate reading of the temperatures. I used Firmark 2 with 4K rendering enabled to see what kind of results we get. So with stock cooling and no aid from the laptop cooler itself, we were hitting peak temperatures of 90 degrees Celsius with the GPU. With a 300 RPM setting turned on with the cooler, that temperature dramatically drops to 67 degrees Celsius at 1000 RPM it drops to 56 degrees Celsius at 2000 RPM to 54 degrees Celsius and at 2800 RPM that drops to 52 degrees Celsius. That's almost a 40 degrees Celsius difference between stock cooling and the highest setting with the laptop cooler on. These numbers are no joke. For CPU testing, I opted to use Cinebench 2024. And again, we're measuring average temperature. So under stock cooling with no aid from the cooling pad, we hit a temperature of approximately 81 degrees Celsius. With 300 RPM setting turned on, that dropped to 71 degrees Celsius. At 1800 RPM, it was 66 degrees Celsius. And at the highest 2800 RPM setting, that number dropped to 59 degrees Celsius, which again is a 21 degrees 
Celsius drop from the stock setting and pretty impressive results overall. I also wanted to get a gauge of average surface temperature. So again, I use Fermark's 4K render mode. I found with stock cooling, the top surface temperature reached as high as 49 degrees Celsius, which is dangerously hot, though under maximum 2800 RPM cooling with the cooler on, that temperature dropped to a mere 35 degrees Celsius. This is a huge quality of life upgrade, especially if your fingers are going to be anywhere near the surface of the laptop. Of course, the prime reason to cool a laptop is for better performance, and I used a couple of quick games to run a brief test, and I found that across games like Doom Eternal, Guild Wars 2, and City Skyline, there were subtle but ultimately notable frame increases that definitely show that thermal throttling can have a pretty significant effect on the general performance of your gaming laptop. In terms of the noise levels that this device produces, so we found under the lowest 300 RPM setting within earshot distance, you're basically looking at fan noise level at around 47 decibels, which is pretty reasonable, again, given the kind of cooling you have going on here. Though at the highest 2800 RPM, it can get pretty uncomfortable with noise levels reaching as high as 71 decibel. Though again, keep in mind that the highest cooling setting is overkill in most situations, so you should be fine between the three 300 to 1500 RPM range, generally speaking. So that's pretty much it for the Lano laptop cooler. Like I mentioned, this thing is definitely more on the hardcore side. It's designed to optimize cooling for even the hottest of gaming laptops, as you kind of saw based on the objective testing we've done here. If you're interested in purchasing one of these bad boys, I'm going to leave a link in the video description below so you can learn more about it and purchase it from there. As always, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. It genuinely helps us grow. Catch you in the next one.